Hi, Dr. Roderick Collin, Receiver. Wanted to uh, just bring you a quick little critique of your website. Uh, I know we've been exchanging some emails and uh, just wanted to sum up uh, what I see here, where I think you're missing patients at, uh, and uh, what you can do to attract more of the types of patients that you're looking for. Uh, I know during our chats you've, you've expressed interest in finding more specific types of patients. Um, you mentioned that you didn't want to you know, get a flood of unqualified people uh, and ways that you can attract specific types of patients without having to sift through a lot of junk. Um, so I'm going to go through your website here, make some comments based on what we've talked about, why uh, it's going to have an impact one way or the other on, on your new patient flow and ultimately dollars back in your pocket. Um, the first thing I see here on the front page, and this is something that dentists have loved forever. I mean, if you look at any dental website, they love these big banners here at the top that scroll through images. Um, you know, the stock photography over here on the side, I think it's cool that you've got a little testimonial, but it has no credibility. Um, KB, uh, you know, people have been around the internet for years. They know, you know, maybe this is true in your case. Um, I highly doubt this image is actually of a patient that's uh, stock photography. It just simply looks too good. Um, and KB, uh, everybody knows that, you know, people unfortunately have made up testimonials. You can easily make them up. You just type something out here. If you don't put real images with real names, city names, things of that nature, um, testimonials just don't carry the punch that, I mean, the, the reason we have testimonials on our website is to give social proof, to provide verification that we're good at what we do. Um, what you have here, uh, in my opinion, just doesn't do that. Um, you know, it's, it's better than nothing, but uh, I wouldn't say that's, that's really getting you anything at all. Um, and the, the scrolling banner, uh, people get mesmerized by it. Now here in your favor, um, I do like that it sl scrolls very, very slowly. Um, and I, I think that's good. You know, a lot of times it's every four or five seconds. Yours is probably every 30 or 60 seconds. Uh, people might not even realize it's scrolling. Uh, here on this image, you know, you got an image of a three-year-old that is uh, using words that, um, you know, sound like a, a kid in high school or an adult. Uh, so, yeah, it just carries no credibility, no weight. Um, I like the images down here at the bottom of the different services you offer. I have to say, while I do like them, um, because of the recognition sometimes you get, in your case here with the ones you've chosen, um, I, I don't think that patients are going to resonate with you on what you got here. Um, New Calm is pretty well known, uh, but not uh, really across the board. Invisalign, of course, is. Identify, um, I've never even heard of it before. Um, I, I've never seen another dentist that's been talking about it. Even if it's the greatest technology, the greatest new mousetrap ever invented, if you're not speaking to what your patients are looking for and you're not speaking the language that your patients understand, um, they're not going to click on this and, and go in. And same with Dental Vibe. Um, injection comfort system you know now you're starting to talk patient language but that's pretty small um, consider taking out the buzzwords and just putting it in very simple terms um, you know up here at the top you've got identify a new comb um, you know like I told you on the phone I like that you call it restorative solutions um, that's something that's really going to hit home unfortunately then I get here to this page and there's not really any information and it's just kind of technical information you know what you can do um, uh, you've got a little bit of solution made information but it's it's very very general stock photography again um, stock photography just doesn't get you anywhere on the in, in the internet world these days um, everybody knows that you can find pictures and images out there um, they know that um, you know you can just buy this stuff and uh, you know that's uh, that's why you want if you want to attract more of your type of patients, your ideal type of patients. Put your ideal patient on your website. Um, that's going to attract more of those types of people. Um, going through uh, your uh, your website here, the biography, I think is good. Uh, here we go. Um, it's succinct. It doesn't have an alphabet soup of, of stuff people don't understand. You know, you've got one, one paragraph here with some alphabet soup stuff in it. Um, I, I think it's really good. Patients can can read this. Uh, I would love to see a longer bio. Um, talk more about who you are. Uh, right now your bio only talks about your professional education. Um, I'd love to hear more about 
why you got into dentistry, um, why you want to work so much with children, um, who you are as a person. Uh, I see in your picture you've got a wedding ring on. Tell me about your family. Uh, got kids? Tell me about those. Um, how uh, does having your own kids uh, influence your desire to work with kids in your office? Um, if that's uh, you know a big part of your practice, um, that is going to resonate with people. People don't want to know what you do. They want to know why you do it. And that's what patients are going to choose you based on. Um, they're not going to choose a dentist because he puts he can do dental implants on his website. They're going to choose a dentist because he says he can fix your problems and he enjoys uh, fixing your problems with not being able to chew the foods you love anymore or bite into a steak or a Granny Smith apple uh, or uh, chew on taffy. Uh, because patients want somebody that is not going to lecture them. They know that somebody they want a doctor that's going to sympathize with them and empathize with them and take care of them and treat them the way they want to be treated. And that's what it's all about. Uh, going into your FAQs, uh, you've got a few set up here. I'd love to see more. Uh, we like to do video FAQs where we do 30 or 40 videos in, uh, in a couple hours and make FAQs out of videos. People love videos. Uh, they're going to watch them a lot more than uh, reading uh, your website. Your gallery, like I was showing you before, uh, you've got something going on here um, because 75% uh, of the time when I go to your website, like I see right here, the gallery doesn't work. Here, I'm going to reload it again. Doesn't work. I'm going to reload it again. Doesn't work. Reload it again. Still not working. I'm going to reload it again. Still not working. Reload it again. There it works. Reload it again. There it works. Reload it again. Not working. So there's something going on with your website or your hosting. Um, let's see what you're doing here. Uh, looks like you're running a WordPress theme. Um, if you're using a shared hosting, you know, Bluehost or HostMonster or uh, one of those $100, $200 a year services, um, you're probably running into some kind of resource uh, issue, running out of resources. Um, pretty common, you know, you get what you pay for, 100, 200 bucks a year. Um, you know, they put 10,000 people on one server and uh, when, when a couple people on the server start getting uh, some activity on their website, everybody else suffers. Um, so that could be one reason why, uh, why that's not working here. It could be some kind of programming glitch. Doesn't seem like programming to me, seems more like some kind of resource issue. Going to resources here, um, you've got a page full of links. These are kind of outdated. Uh, you know, links pages used to be really popular because there was no search engine on the internet. Back in 1995, 1998, even 2000, the search engines were not very evolved. So if you wanted people to be able to reference uh, related content, you put link pages on your site. Um, nowadays, people don't really look at link pages. They're, they have really no purpose because um, you know, there's search engines out there that can uh, can deliver all that information to you right away. I'm wanting to find in here um, and look at, okay, here's the links right here. Um, and I want to talk a little bit about the way you've set up these links. Uh, and let me blow this up so you can see maybe a little bit better. So this is actually the code, what's highlighted here of the links. Um, the Academy of General Dentistry, the American Dental Association, uh, oral health overview, et cetera, et cetera. All these links go to other pages off of your site. And there's, uh, in a nutshell, the way ranking power works, the way we'll call it link juice works, is think of a bucket. You have water coming in the top of a bucket. And the more water you have in the bucket, the more ranking power you have. So the more links that are coming into your website, into the top of the bucket, the more full your bucket is, the more water, the more link juice is in it, the more you're going to rank. Now, if I poke a hole in your bucket, water is going to start coming out. Your ranking is going to decline. When you link to an outside website, uh, such as this page on WebMD, you are transferring linking power from your website to them. So you're poking holes in your bucket. Now, there is a way that you can provide a link to an outside website without giving away your link juice, without giving away your ranking power. Unfortunately, it's not done here on your site. Uh, within this coding tag right here, um, this is actually the, the code that creates 
uh, you know, if you go look at the at the website um, where it says Academy of General Dentistry, where it actually is a link you can click, this piece of, of code right here, this tag that I've highlighted, does that. And there's a piece missing from all of these. Uh, the ADA, the oral health overview, the oral health treatment, and the post-op instructions, uh, even though that's actually on your site, so we'll ignore that one. Uh, but these first four links, uh, there should be what's called a rel nofollow tag that's missing um, right there where I've highlighted. And that keeps Google from transferring your link juice out of your website. So going back to your website, let me reduce back down to a normal size here. More stock photography. Um, you've got your hours on here. Um, I'm not sure what alternating means um, you know if you've got like a, a two-week rotating schedule um, I think this is kind of confusing the way you have this set up here um, I would consider you know there's there's some easier ways to put our hours on here or just simply um, you know have them automatically change depending on what week it's in going into the contact us page um, you've got uh, a form you've got uh, your directions um, the appointment request date for me, this is not working. If I'm supposed to be able to click here and get a calendar, um, also I would consider getting rid of uh, this uh, captcha, this validation down here. Um, you know, right now it's pretty easy to read. I might click refresh, and these letters and numbers down here are all jumbled together, and you can't read them. People get frustrated; they're going to go somewhere else. Um, I would have it so it's pretty easy to plug this information in here: smartboxllc.com, my telephone number. I'd get rid of the appointment request date. Uh, because I think that's setting up their expectations for uh, something that's um, possibly not you're not going to be able to meet uh, especially with this button here oh I clicked it and it deleted all my stuff that's that's kind of annoying um, you know patients are kind of like the butterfly you're trying to catch you want to handle them very delicately um, you know put instead of questions comments how can we help you get rid of this appointment request date get rid of this captcha who cares if you get a little bit of spam through if you're making it easier uh, you know and not losing people here on the form um, I'm gonna go ahead and submit this and see Q6HW see if this is working huh. okay it says it was sent successfully uh, you might check your email to make sure you actually received it uh, this plugin here you're using is something called contact form 7 it does require configuration and maintenance um, on the back end of WordPress as well as with the server you're working in. Uh, a lot of times the, the, the host company will upgrade, change some versions of stuff they're doing on there. Not talking about your WordPress, I'm talking about stuff on the back end that um, you know generally people have no knowledge of. Um, it requires a, a little update to the library or whatever in WordPress in the Contact 7. Um, they never realize that and the contact form is broken, they don't get emails. So um, take a look there. Uh, make sure that email did come through to you. As far as your overall look on the website, I like the colors, the greens, uh, the uh, the not really purple, uh, maybe a mauve color. I'm not sure what you call that. Um, I'd love to see some more information up here at the top. Um, you know, moving this our practice, our pledge stuff. Put it right up there at the top of the page. Uh, love the picture of you here. Uh, I believe that's you. It looks looks similar to your biography picture. Let's go back and look. Yeah, I think that's you. Uh, so I, I like the picture here, uh, the new patient forms, um, yeah, pretty standard, all good stuff. Uh, but uh, also I'm taking a look at some of the search engines, uh, the, your search rankings here. I'm looking and uh, did a search for Phoenix Dentist. Uh, you know, Phoenix is a huge market. It's not surprising that you're not, um, let's see, is this you here, Desert Smiles Dentistry? No, you were, let's see, you are Desert View Smiles. Okay, so Desert View Smiles. Um, let's see, don't see you on the first page, not in the paid, not in the organic, not in the local, not on the map, um, not in the AdWords Express, and there's more organic down here. Uh, did a search for Phoenix Cosmetic Dentist. Uh, Desert Smiles, Dr. Wilcox, that's not you. Uh, let's look here. Don't see you down here. Uh, Cave Creek, Arizona, Dennis, you did pop up right here, number two, organically. Um, 
I don't see you though here on the local search or in the map uh, and you've only got one listing here on the first page you might check out a couple of our podcasts I talk uh, I, I don't want to let this video here run excessively long uh, I spend a lot of time in our podcast I believe it's episode 33 and 34 talking about search engine rankings and what you need to have as a practice to attract the types of patients you want uh, so scroll through they're on our website they're on iTunes you can download them podcast them uh, they're they're uh, uh, available everywhere Cave Creek Arizona cosmetic dentist uh, I've got you popping up here again one listing organically uh, nothing in the maps um, there's a video ranking here that's not you nothing in the AdWords uh, let's run a couple other searches let's search for implant dentist looks like you're coming up here desert view smiles again nothing else anywhere how about Scottsdale implant dentist and don't see you how about Scottsdale Arizona oops stalling here Scottsdale Arizona implant dentist um, yep don't see you here either so what you've got here on the first page of Google is you've got a number of different search engines uh, of course you have the paid ads that are here in the shaded box at the top and down the side you have your local ads that are here in the map and then here with the addresses next to them uh, you also have your organic listings here that do not have addresses and then organic listings down here at the bottom uh, there were some video listings you saw earlier these people with a picture next to it are using what's called an author tag and then if you notice here Google has also split up the local listings uh, so they're kind of sprinkled in there's also another search engine going on here uh, you have the Google AdWords Express uh, which if you notice this first ad is four lines long this second ad is three lines long these one here down the side are four but this one here is three six seven lines this one here is five lines uh, with the little map indicator next to it and this is a hybrid between Google local and Google paid um, in many markets right now it's a very open very successful medium to plug into and extract patients from uh, so I would advise you to, to take a look at that and uh, see what you got going on um, ultimately your website your ranking um, isn't going to put dollars back in your pocket on its own uh, you can have number one rankings across the board we see it every day and the doctors aren't getting a dime in return from their investment because their website is not generating phone calls if you want to be the expert in your community um, having free information free reports on your website that your patients can plug into and download uh, putting a free report right here at the top where they can opt in give you their information in exchange for you sending them information hopefully automatically so you're not tying up your time and your front office uh, time with doing that um, phone call tracking knowing exactly what you're getting from all of your marketing um, because that's that's what marketing is all about it's return on investment uh, plugging in uh, a phone call tracking we have our Zetetic system that we have developed uh, just for dentists exclusively for dentists to be able to track and know what kind of results they're getting from their marketing um, being able to see graphically what's generating phone calls uh, what's not uh, being able to identify by campaign um, which marketing campaigns are being successful um, you know you can scroll back and look at seven days or we can kick out punch out to 30 days and look at what's really generating calls is it a newspaper is it web marketing is it a second website a niche website uh, maybe it's a magazine ad maybe it's a seminar that you're running uh, but being able to easily see and uh, not only see what's generating calls but to be able to log in uh, to listen to all the calls that are actually playing here um, to be able to review the calls make sure your front office staff is answering them correctly uh, to know exactly the kind of results that you're getting from your marketing um, is what's going to make you more successful and more profitable um, you know our system does a cool thing called reverse lookup where we can actually pull their name up here you can enter in revenue generated over the uh, uh, over the case over the patient um, and the cool thing about 
the revenue generation is when you tell us how much revenue somebody generated, um, you can use our cool tool here, the ROI calculator. And it'll take just a second to load the, the ROI calculator up. All right. And uh, let's punch out, say, over 30 days. Um, we can see that, uh, say, this newspaper ad over 30 days cost us 1500 bucks. It generated 10 calls. The cost per call is $150. And if you plug in the value of those patients, the ones that are actually generating revenue, actual money back in your pocket, our system will automatically spit out your ROI right here. So we'd be able to tell you that, uh, you know, hey, um, this newspaper ad generated 10 calls. It cost you $1,500. Um, each call you paid $150 for. Uh, but your ROI is you sold uh, two big cases out of those 10 calls um, that netted you $22,000 or uh, two Invisalign cases that netted you $9,400, uh, whatever it is. So make sure you're looking at the correct metrics when you're trying to establish success versus failure with your marketing. It's not about ranking. It's not about impressions. It's not about visibility. It's not about... Um, you know, look at look at our, our podcast. I think it was episode 34 where I talk about SEO reports and and how um, bunk they are in today's search engine world. Um, your success is based on dollars in your pocket, and the only path between your marketing and dollars in your pocket is phone calls, impressions, ranking reports, all that other stuff is is uh, is uh, surrounding it's all kind of one piece of the puzzle but the direct path from marketing to dollars in your pocket is phone calls and that's what you need to be looking at uh, making sure you've got calls coming in making sure your staff is answering them correctly and making sure that those patients are converting into dollars um, so take a look at those podcasts listen more um, I don't want to let this run too long so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut it off here um, because I want to respect your time uh, if you've got more information, I'm um, sorry, more questions, or you'd like to chat more, uh, my phone number, my direct line is 502-509-1413, 502-509-1413. I'd love to chat with you more if you feel like uh, what we're doing is a good fit for your practice. Thanks for your time, Dr. Roderick. Take care.